Hi everyone, in this video we will look at the cin.ignore method and when we would need to use this method. So I'm going to make a few changes to this program. Right now it, we have uh, putting the value to be the size of the array. Now instead I can ask the user to, uh, to, get, to get this number from the user. So I could just add a few or uh, two lines. I will say how many users would you like to um, enter? And then I could uh, just get that value into a number. Okay, and then this could just could be like this. Yeah. Everything else can could remain exactly the same. Now I'm going to compile and run the program. So here I will say three and this should work exactly like uh, previously. But notice that it doesn't ask me to, uh, uh, to enter the first user's name. It goes directly to the second one. And this is because of that new line that, we, um, that was created when we hit enter from the keyboard that was stored in the buffer because the C in uh, have actually just gotten the value three and stored it into a number. The new line is a string and that can't be saved into the integer variable. So that remains on the buffer which on the second instance or any chance of a C in um, of a string that goes that it gets consumed by the by the C in statement or by the next C in statement. So now I'm only able to put in the first name and last name of the second and the third. And so as you can see when we print the results we've lost um, entry or we didn't even get a chance to enter any value for the first one. So what we want to do is consume that new line that was created or that was stored in the buffer when we put the value 3 or any value and then hit enter. So to consume the new line or, or you know, I can just say new line. Then we can just uh, make C in uh, grab that using the c in dot ignore so it's going to ignore whatever's sitting in the buffer and it frees it so it's ready for the next entry so let's compile and run so now I'll say three same now I'm able to put in details for the first user's name so what happened is that c in dot ignore have consumed the new line that was ent that was um, stored on the buffer when we hit enter after the value number three, and um, and that freed the buffer. So the next time there's a scene statement, it's actually ready to take entry from the user, rather than having to consume any strings that are sitting on the buffer, including the new line. I hope this was helpful to you. So remember, whenever you grab a number, always ignore the um, call the scene dot ignore to consume that new line, so then you are ready to get any entry as string from the user to be correctly saved into the buffer and then into the array. I hope that was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.